This is now the fourth video and we're looking at the dermal epidermal junction, the DEJ. So we're moving down uh, from the epidermis to the junction between the epidermis and the dermis. And I like to think of this as uh, a form of nature's Velcro. This is the conceptualized diagram with the epidermis here, the dermis underneath, and this is the dermal epidermal junction. These little papillae here uh, are shown here in this scanning electron microscopy. Um, this would be the uh, dermal collagen um, and they're organized in a very neat fashion like little fir trees poking up uh, from the dermis and the epidermis sits on top of this. And there is a complicated molecular arrangement of uh, different uh, collagens, different filaments, different fibers which knit the two together. This is a diagram which shows the way in which the dermal epidermal junction joins together with these different molecules involved and a very important molecule is type 7 collagen. These form the anchoring filaments. For the laminins, type 4 collagen, integrins, nitrogens, they're also involved in this uh, molecular arrangement. Collagen type 7 is a major anchoring fibril and we see it highlighted here in this fluorescent staining of the dermoepidermal junction. Recessive dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa. This is where we should be seeing this enhanced staining for type 7 collagen, but we're seeing nothing. So the dystrophic form of epidermolysis bullosa, the recessive dystrophic form, we've got a mutation of type 7 collagen gene that causes the anchors in the basement membrane to be lost or not to be functioning properly. And we have found in one of the young boys that uh, was shown in the uh, original video uh, that there was a novel homozygous splice site mutation in the collagen 7 gene. And there are indeed several hundred mutations identified uh, for the type 7 collagen gene, which explains why there is a variation in severity of RDEB. Uh, it can be extremely severe uh, and result in uh, a life of pain and early death. Uh, other people can actually survive for many years still having RDEB uh, but not with uh, a very severe manifestation of the disease. So a few MCQs to finish off with and another fascinating part of the ultrastructure of the skin the dermal epidermal junction.